Welcome to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, thanks. Angela Merkel, Germany's first female chancellor. Germany's first female chancellor, Angela Merkel, was born on July 17, 1954, as Angela Dorothea Kastner in Hamburg. Her name is pronounced H-N-G-L-U Merkel. Her father Horst Kastner, a Lutheran pastor, obtained a position as pastor at a church in the East German settlement of Quitzo in the same year. Her Lind, Ne Gentsch, her mother, was a Latin and English teacher. The family relocated to Templin, which is located about 50 miles north of Berlin, in 1957, for years before the Berlin Wall was built. Thus, Angela Merkel was raised in the Socialist German Democratic Republic along with her sister Irene and brother Marcus, who were both born in East Germany, Deutsche Demokratische Republik. Merkel entered politics following the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, winning a seat in the interim East German cabinet. She was voted to the Bundestag after Germany's reunification in 1990. German Parliament Merkel quickly advanced through the ranks of the CDU, Christian Democratic Union, party after being taken under the wing of Chancellor Helmut Kohl later. And here most famous, Angela Merkel quotes about leadership. I might bend, but I will never break, because it's in my nature, as a strong woman. Always be more than you appear, and never appear to be, more than you are. The question is, not whether we are able to change, but whether we are changing fast enough. Anything that seems to be, set in stone or inalterable can, indeed, change. In matters both large and small, it holds true that every change begins in the mind. There is one red line that we should not cross. It is a commitment to human rights, the respect of the dignity of the human being. There should be no compromises. We have stood up for our values of freedom of the press, of freedom of democracy, freedom of religion, and freedom of expression. Freedom does not mean being free of something, but to be free to do something. I never underestimated myself, and I never saw anything wrong with ambition. We have a duty as the state to protect our economy. We are for the protection of intellectual property. For me, it is always important that I go through all the possible options for a decision. Letting go of the old is part of the new beginning. Don't forget that freedom is never something that can be taken for granted. Nothing can be taken for granted. Everything is possible. Surprise yourself with what is possible. Remember that openness always involves risks. We must have the courage to accept that some countries can move forward a little more quickly than others. Maybe I've just become more hardened. The exposure to so many extreme situations tends to harden a person. You have to develop survival strategies. I chose to pursue a career in physics because there the truth isn't so easily bent. It's much, much better to talk to one another than about one another. I have asked a lot of you because the times have asked a lot of us. I am well aware of that. And I cannot promise you that there will be fewer demands in the future 
because we must do what the times demand of us. We are responsible for each other. I am trying to convince doubters. There is still work to do. I believe those that produce the least emissions in autos will also be those who have the greatest success worldwide. No one knew how the Cold War would end at the time, but it did end. This is within our living experience. I'm surprised at how faint-hearted we sometimes are and how quickly we lose courage. For me, personally, marriage is a man and a woman living together. A good compromise is one where everybody makes a contribution. I want our strong German economy to be able to cope with the merger of the real economy and the digital economy, otherwise we will lose out to the competition. Germany has become a country that many people abroad associate with hope. Hatred, racism, and extremism have no place in this country. At German unification, we were lucky to get so much help from West Germany. Now, we have the good fortune of being able to help each other in Europe. I am not an expert in this field, but I do try to keep up to date with the Bundesliga. And I do follow World Cups and European Championships more closely. Germany stands in the fight against terrorism at France's side, united with many, many others. I am convinced that, despite all the difficulties, we shall win this fight. In East Germany, we always ran into boundaries before we were able to discover our own personal boundaries. India needs jobs, Germany needs people, and collaboration is crucial to meet the demographic needs of both countries. We are a country based on democracy, tolerance, and openness to the world. If we look at where relations between the Soviet Union and Germany were in 1945 and where we stand now, then we have achieved so much. Let's be a bit more curious about what happens in other parts of the world, engage in a little less navel-gazing. I must say, I am very pleased and a little bit proud to be part of the European Union. It's my damn duty and obligation to do everything possible for Europe to find a united path. We want to remain a stable anchor in Europe. The euro is our common fate, and Europe is our common future. Nobody in Europe will be abandoned. Nobody in Europe will be excluded. Europe only succeeds if we work together. I personally hope and wish that Britain will stay part and parcel of the European Union. Solidarity and competitiveness are the two sides of a European coin. We will have to accept a certain degree of legal immigration, that's globalization. In the era of the smartphone, we cannot shut ourselves away. People know full well how we live in Europe. As far as an upper limit on refugees is concerned, my position is clear. I will not accept it. Every person who comes is a human being and has the right to be treated as such. I am regarded as a permanent delayer sometimes, but I think it is essential and extremely important to take people along and really listen to them in political talks. Whoever decides to dedicate their life to politics knows that earning money isn't the top priority. Politicians have to be committed to people in equal measures.
Always be more than you appear, and never appear, to be more than you are. Freedom does not mean being free of something, but to be free to do something.